Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, this is a new series that I'm going to uh, start now. I'll call it uh, responding to comments or reacting to comments. And the main idea is to take comments from YouTube. And I don't know if it will be one or a thousand per video. And then, uh, well, react to them, whether intelligently or not so much. And actually, I originally thought of it in, in the context of mean comments, because when I read them out loud to a few of my friends, they were just bursting in laugh. And I was surprised because I thought I was the only one who was so amused. But uh, there's something very funny about uh, silly things that people are saying and, and taking very seriously and think they're making sense. I don't know. So in the future, I'll, I'll uh, develop this series into the more ridiculous comments, but uh, I don't think it would be wise to start off by granting a stage for uh, all the stupidity, let's call it this way, uh, before I uh, address things that I find useful and that I'm thankful for you guys that you're suggesting and writing. So I'll start with the comment that I just received a few minutes ago by Shrayan Majumder. I probably mispronounce as usual. So, by the way, Tal, I think one of my main problem, and I think an issue of many players, is proper time management. Maybe you can make a short vid on how to manage the clock properly. Would be very useful. Thanks. By the way, uh, I don't have time or this priority to respond to all the comments, especially now that I started receiving so many and uh, most of them are not uh, necessarily <laughs> constructive criticism. Uh, some people just ask me questions uh, in the comments that um, I feel like if I answer to one, I will have to answer everyone. So. In a, every now and then I will answer uh, in the actual video, I, I mean in the actual uh, comment section and if the questions are interesting I'll take them to this series. So uh, first of all thanks for, for asking and uh, I, before I answer I want you to know that at least for the moment uh, I've read all the comments on all my uh, videos and every time there is a new comment on a past video I receive a notification and I, I see it at some point. I just uh, find uh, uh, reacting to all of them uh, too effortful, I would say, uh, at some points. I'm still very tired, by the way, right now, but I want to keep up with the w one video per day uh, task that or challenge that I'm uh, trying to achieve. Let's call it to conquer. So time management in chess it's not so not such an easy topic so I'll talk about it in more length probably in future videos but uh, for now I'll just give the most basic advice and the things that uh, I have uh, probably heard along the way so I'll pretend that all of these are my ideas even though probably all of them arrived from different sources which I cannot uh, name by now some books some some friends, some trainers, but uh, basically, oh, let's just pretend it's me talking. So, advice number one about time management is uh, that I think it's pretty well known, but just in case you haven't heard it, uh, and I'm talking about classical games, because that's uh, the main uh, topic where it's important to manage your time well. In other time controls you just play as fast as you can without blundering too much. So the classical time control where you have uh, usually around four hours or more for the entire game. I'm trying to, to do two things. One uh, is that generally I would like to avoid thinking for more than 10 minutes on one move. Uh, and uh, I believe it was John Nunn who said it, that uh, if someone is thinking for more than 10 minutes on one move, something is, uh, is not efficient with this process of thinking. 
so he's probably wasting some time at some point on uh, pondering between different options rather than calculating or evaluating them and um, there's no point to spend too much time undecided and just trying to 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 make decisions instead of actually think which one you prefer uh, on the same note I would mention that if you see two options that are very good or very tempting and you cannot decide between them just pick one you don't have to play perfectly I mean you can take eight nine ten minutes even 12 minutes uh, to think but I mean if you, you have a choice between two good options you better go for the one that's less likely to to be uh, for things to go wrong there yeah that you're less likely to miscalculate or, or to risk too much and uh, just go with one of them trust your intuition so first advice don't think for more than 10 minutes uh, I probably should have prepared some text for, for this uh, um, video but okay I guess you remember it First advice, don't think for more than 10 minutes per move. Second advice, when the opponent uh, makes a move and you know for 100% for which is your, going to be your, your reply, you want to play it instantly without writing. According to the rules of chess, you don't have to write your opponent's move before making your own move. So I'm not talking about uh, being uh, decisive uh, and, and pretend to be confident. The idea is that, for example, if he captures your queen and you have only one legal move or the only logical move is to capture back his queen, then you do it instantly. So it can save a little bit of time, but it has some, some nice psychological effect as well. The same applies for the opening. If you're sure which move to, to make, then just make it quickly, even before you write the move. Um, but that depends on your level of skill uh, and your confidence and so on so first is advice don't play too slowly second one when you can afford it play very quickly this is for general decision making during the game and as for the time management itself uh, for the clock uh, there is a method that I like to use and I'm not sure everyone will relate to it but uh, I will say the following that Let's assume that I have 40 minutes, sorry, 40 moves. Yeah, okay, again, 90 minutes for 40 moves. And then I get an extra half an hour, plus an increment of, of 30 seconds for the entire game. That's the usual time control in uh, international tournaments and uh, most tournaments that I've been to in my life. And uh, I think that, uh, you can apply what I'm about to say to any time control, but this is the general idea that I have. If the time control is on move 40, what I would like to achieve is that the maximum amount of time uh, to, to be spent until move 20 will be 45 minutes. And then you'll have 45 minutes for the last 20 moves, which are more difficult usually before the time control. And then, of course, the half an hour that you get, you need to just spend it until the end of the game uh, according to how the game develops. But these first 40 moves are very crucial. So what I like to do is uh, to focus on the first 45 minutes uh, for the 20 moves, uh, including the increment, of course. So you have a little bit more than 45 minutes, uh, maybe 55 to be exact. So I feel like uh, the idea is that most of us play some moves in the opening quite quickly so in a way you're playing less than 20 moves so if you spend more than 45 minutes for the first 20 moves you're very likely to enter severe time pressure if you're going to keep the same pace so the, the uh, highest amount of time if you want to plan your time in a healthy manner to be spent until move 20 is 45 minutes in this time control and uh, yeah usually what I do is for example if I'm after the opening I play 10 quick moves and uh, I have something like uh, let's say mm, something like uh, 35 minutes for the next 10 moves as mentioned 
then I'm going to to calculate in my mind while my opponent is thinking how much time I have for each move and then I will try to react accordingly so I won't be uh, stressed uh, to, to, to make a move so for example in this regard we have 35 minutes plus the increment for the next 10 moves and I'll think 40 minutes for 10 moves so I have 4 minutes per move this would be my idea and um, well, I hope it's quite clear. As and uh, my reasoning that uh, the opening moves are, are quick, so you you have to to use your time effectively. Of course, having more than forty five minutes is a good idea. Um, and there are some cases where I go below, but and uh, it's there are exceptions when I go below forty five minutes before move twenty. But if it happens. At least I'm aware in my mind that I have to be very careful, that I have to start playing faster when I am on, still on move 15 or 16 and I don't realize too late when it's already very complicated with time pressure. Um, this was the, the first point. And um, I think it's a very valid point and if you can apply it, it will help you a lot. And the second one has nothing to do with the game itself but just for improving your time management in general as I shown in the previous example I have a score sheet I don't know if it's visible here but you can see that in the score sheet okay it's not so visible but next to the moves over here I write the time for each move and then you can see exactly how much time is being spent and analyze the time management either by myself or with the coach or a friend who might be more experienced and uh, receive some advice on the topic and I analyze also how much I was thinking on each move whether it was uh, too much or too little with emphasis on mistakes so that's more or less it for now and uh, I hope this series will be interesting or at least funny at some point so see you soon